Hello, my name is uh, Maria Garcia. I'm working as a for feed product specialist at Olmix Group. And today I would like to share with you the recent research on urbans, which are sulfated polysaccharides from the cell wall of macroalgae, green macroalgae, in the immune modulation of two important cell populations, monocytes and neutrophils. The context we are living nowadays is a complex context. Broilers face several challenges throughout the life cycle and their immune system requirements, but I depending, of course, on the physiological status and also on external influencing factors. These factors could be, for example, environmental stress, nutritional stress, such as presence of, fit, uh, of mycotoxins, for example, in the feed, stressful periods in which there is a high association with level of production, and also moments with high sanitary pressure in the animals. All of these stressful factors and events, they will greatly impact animals' immune defense and, of course, technical performance. As you see here, this situation is aggravated if the birds already present a low immune response. This is the case, for example, of the immunity gap. At this moment of life, broilers, they have, let's say, an optimal level of immune protection because the passive immunity transfer from the mother declines over time. And at the same time, broilers start developing their own immune response, the active immunity. All these animals in young stages of life experience this immunity gap and this will impact, of course, their health and their technical performance. Allmix Group is a French company based in Brittany that has been studying marine biotechnologies for more than 20 years and has developed a full macroalgae biorefinery process focused, as we are going to see, in the extraction and use of specific macroalgae polysaccharides to support, among others, the immune response of animals. As you see here in this diagram, the process starts with the harvest of seaweeds. Seaweeds, they are collected from shallow waters. As you can see, they are still fresh. And then they are transported into the biorefinery in which, in which they are washed. And then the extraction of the bioactive compound starts. The first step is a phase separation. Basically, the solid fraction and the liquid fraction of the seaweeds are separated. And we are going to use the liquid fraction, this algae juice rich in sugars, rich in polysaccharides. Afterwards, the alkyl juice is submitted to a hydrolytic process and then is transported in a pipeline system. According to the molecular size of these bioactive compounds, they will stop at different, let's say, moments in this pipeline, and they will have our purified molecules. They are, they are called MSPs. This stands for marine sulfated polysaccharides. All of these bioactive compounds, they will provide with high biological reactivity and will have impact and positive effect in different organs in the body of the animals. When we look into the structure of the MSP, we see that this molecule is unique, is only found in the marine environment, it cannot be found, for example, in terrestrial plants, in freshwater microalgae and neither in the cell wall of yeast. The molecular traits more important of these MSPs are their 3D structure, they present a branched structure which will facilitate their contact with different membrane receptors, different type of cells. Because we are talking about a marine organism, it contains rare sugars such as rhamnose and saulose, and the most important let's say, structural characteristics of these molecules is the presence of sulfate functional groups. At, in the marine environment, brimstone sulfate is highly available and is assimilated by the cell wall of macroalgae for seaweeds. And this sulfatation, it will provide with high reactivity in the cells of animals. Thanks to an important fact, MSPs, and molecules within animals, they share same structural traits, such as sulfatation. So they present phylogenetic analogy in terms of molecular structures with these animals. 
thanks to this, let's say, phylogenetic or structural similarities, cells in animals will recognize MSPs, such as, let's say, all molecules. So this will provide with high array of biological activities in animals. And as I was discussing before, this extraction and purification of these molecules is paramount in order to take profit of the different biological activities that they will provide to animals. When we look more in detail into the effect of an extract from Ulvar Moricana, Urba Ulvar Moricana is a green algae. And what we wanted to study, it was the effect of these marine sulfated polysaccharides on the activities of avian monocytes and neutrophils. Avian heterophils and neutrophils, they play a crucial role defending animals' body against pathogens. Yeah, they are cells that they are fastly recruited when there is an invasion of the pathogen, for example, and also they will support the development of the acquired immunity. In this trial, as we are going to see, broilers were used as a model and they would receive ulvans or MSP immunity. This is the number, the name of the molecule we are discussing today. And we study how this molecule, how this ulvan, improves the immune response of these two types of cell population. Looking deeper into the experimental design, what we see here is like a 300 male broilers of 28 days of age. They were divided in four groups of 25 broilers each. This study was carried out in triplicate in a commercial farm in France. The animals were divided in dietary treatments. There is a control group that didn't receive any supplementation with urban, with MSP immunity, in the drinking water. And the test groups did receive different concentrations of MSP immunity in the drinking water during 24 hours. The experiment lasted four days in total. And the parameters that were assessed was the plasma concentration for nitric oxide measurement in order to assess the activity of monocytes. And we also studied the release of glucuronidase to assess the activity of earth heterophils by the release of 4-methylumbelliferone. When we look into the results, what we can conclude, when we look, for example, into the monocyte activity, we observe a dose response release for both uh, nitric oxide, as we see here, and as we're going to see later on for the glucuronidase activity. As you see here in this graph, there is a peak of activation at day two that swiftly declines with values no longer statistically different from that one of the negative control at day four. So this is very important because we can see that nitric oxide is released in a sufficient amount for killing pathogens, but not too excessive or too long lasting in order to avoid cellular damage to healthy cells of the own body of the broiler. When we look into the results concerning neutrophil activity, here we also observe that the increased sulban concentrations led to a higher production of 4 methylene belliferone, reflecting a greater subset of heterophils being activated, as we see here. And as we observed before with monocytes, there is a peak of activation at day two that swiftly declines with values no longer statistically different from the values obtained in the negative control group at day four. To conclude, in vivo, when given orally, the urban extract, the marine sulfated polysaccharide purified from the cell wall of green macroalgae, modulates the activity of monocytes and heterophils, which are key players for innate defense of broilers. And also they play an important role as activators of the acquired immunity. This innovative bioactive compound can play an important role in terms of reinforcement of the immune response of broilers. 
and used in combination with another specific bioactive compound extracted from a red algae that will improve or will reinforce gut barrier function. It has proven in the field that improves animal health and also performances. I would like to thank you for your attention and you will find my email address. Thank you very much. <laughs>